नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई टॉक्ड अबाउट हाइड्रोलिक वेन पंप एंड रोटरी स्पूल वॉल्व इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ पावर स्टीयरिंग अबाउट विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टूडे इन डिटेल पावर स्टीयरिंग पावर स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन 1903. it supplements the efforts made by driver to steer vehicle initially it was used in heavy vehicles effort required to steer heavy vehicle was much more and supplementing this effort by power steering was of great help to driver later it found its use in light vehicles also including cars nowadays it is available in almost all cars in addition to supplementing steering effort power steering also provides quick response so turning of the vehicle becomes smooth as mentioned earlier in power steering effort to steer vehicle is reduced effort made by driver is supplemented through electric or hydraulic devices that are part of power steering power steering is classified into hydraulic power steering electro hydraulic power steering and electronic power steering hydraulic power steering i have taken rack and pinion steering system that has been modified as hydraulic power steering system hydraulic vane pump and rotary spool valve have been added as may be seen in diagram these are represented through blocks here hydraulic vane pump is driven by internal combustion engine on right side rack is provided with hydraulic cylinder that has piston inside a torsion bar is provided that is located inside steering column as may be seen on lower side of diagram torsion bar is thin rod of metal one end of torsion bar is connected with steering wheel that end is not shown in diagram as steering wheel is turned due to torque torsion bar is twisted twisting of bar depends upon torque applied and torque applied depends upon turning of steering wheel therefore torsion bar is twisted as per turning of steering wheel this activates rotary spool valve as we have seen in working of rotary spool valve when steering wheel turns vehicle towards right left turn outlets are closed and fluid flows through right turn outlets only this causes movement of piston in hydraulic cylinder towards right as indicated by green color this pushes the rack and tie rod towards right it supplements similar action made through rack and pinion as driver turns steering wheel when vehicle is to be turned towards left piston in hydraulic cylinder moves towards left shown in blue this causes pushing of rack and tie rod towards left again this supplements the similar action made by driver through rack and pinion in this manner driver is able to steer vehicle with less effort electro hydraulic power steering here hydraulic vane pump is driven by electric motor electric motor gets input from battery in vehicle 
in a previous case pump was driven by internal combustion engine as already mentioned as a pump does not consume output from engine it helps to run the vehicle in better manner other than this system is similar in construction and working to hydraulic power steering electronic power steering this system is provided with electronic control unit or ecu control valve and solenoid valve spool valve oil pump and reserve oil tank are also there as we have seen in systems earlier effort supplemented depends upon vehicle speed turning of steering wheel and road resistance there is a speed sensor that provides input regarding vehicle speed to electronic control unit when vehicle moves at low speed driver has to make less effort supplemented effort is more here at high speed driver has to put more effort and supplemented effort is less this is achieved through controlling oil pressure in reaction chamber based on vehicle speed and turning of steering wheel referring to diagram that represents ecu reserve oil tank and oil pump as block control valve a major component has been shown on right bottom of diagram another major component solenoid valve has been shown on left hand side solenoid valve has also been shown as b on top that represents passage in solenoid valve at low speed control valve has pinion and lever surrounding it pinion is part of rack and pinion steering that has not been shown for the sake of simplicity ecu gets input from sensor in steering wheel that provides steering angle it also gets input about vehicle speed from speed sensor as shown according to these two inputs output signal is generated that is fed to solenoid valve solenoid valve acts according to this signal from ecu spool valve and reaction chambers form components of control valve spool valve is connected to oil pump and reserve oil tank as shown solenoid valve is also connected to reserve oil tank as pinion turns lever activates spool valve against the force of springs in reaction chambers it also overcomes pressure exerted by oil in reaction chamber pressure exerted by oil is controlled by solenoid valve that acts according to input from ecu when vehicle is at high speed rod inside solenoid valve is positioned shown in black on lower side red dot presents the passage of oil flow from reaction chamber this is small as may be noticed oil pressure increases in reaction chamber in this situation effort supplemented by system becomes less and driver has to put more effort when vehicle moves at low speed rod moves rightwards against the force of spring this increases the passage shown with red dot in diagram b oil pressure in reaction chamber is reduced this enhances the effort supplemented by system therefore driver has to make less effort this explains power steering in an automobile 
most of the systems in use are electronic power steering these two are getting improved with passage of time steering damper shimmy is a condition that may occur in vehicles it is similar to resonance that occurs in steering system and suspension due to road irregularities road wheels shake this shaking may attain same frequency as wheel rotation frequency it continues to amplify in intensity due to road irregularities if to attain equal frequency resonance occurs this causes shaking of huge magnitude it may occur at a particular vehicle speed therefore avoiding this particular speed by keeping vehicle below or above this speed may avoid shimmy condition another condition that may occur is wheel fight here twisting of steering wheel occurs and it may go out of driver's hands this situation also occurs due to road irregularities steering damper helps to combat both conditions it is similar to shock absorber in suspension system it is mounted between steering linkage and frame of vehicle frame of vehicle acts as fixed member a steering damper causes relatively low resistance when disturbances have low frequency it causes more resistance and so damping when disturbances attain high frequency shimmy is due to repetitive occurrence of high frequency whereas wheel fight is due to single occurrence of high frequency to understand constructional details and working let us refer to diagram that describes single tube steering damper on right side is i end that is fixed with frame of vehicle on left side there is piston rod end connected with steering linkage that has not been shown other end of piston rod has piston with passages that can reciprocate inside inner tube it is a section view therefore only two passages are visible on upper and lower side actually there are six passages uniformly placed end valve is located at the end of inner tube this too is provided with passages as in piston outer shell has oil on right side as shown and gas on left side shown in gray color oil also occupies space on both sides of piston in inner tube as piston rod and so piston moves rightwards shown by red arrow head oil moves through passages in piston leftwards shown with black arrow heads this produces damping effect flow of oil occurs rightwards through passages in end valve shown by red arrow heads oil coming out in outer shell causes compression of gas in its left portion considering another situation as piston rod and so piston moves leftwards shown by black arrow head in this situation oil flows rightwards through passages in piston shown by red arrow heads oil flows back to inner shell through passages in end valve producing damping effect gas in outer shell expands 
there are a number of variants of steering dampers available these are designed and produced according to requirements of different manufacturers here i conclude discussion for today and with this discussion on steering system is also concluded thanks for watching